Since, since I became president, I appointed a committee to help London GA to bring about plans that would develop rice. That they're going to have a stand and uh, they're going to have the ancillary facilities underneath it. They will look to long term doing terracing. Initially, initially it'll be over 4,000, it'll end up somewhere around six. We hope it'll be a ground that will be worthy of London GA and uh, we're really looking forward to working with them. The fact that the government has come in and given 600,000 is a huge boost to the morale of London GA but also to us because it shows that we are working in tandem with them, that we share the same vision, we want the best for the Irish abroad and Gaelic Games are a huge part of that. Well, this is an important development uh, by the GA of its facilities in Ryslip in London. Uh, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade is very happy to provide a grant of uh, €600,000 to assist with this development uh, in order to support the development of Gaelic Games uh, in London, uh, but also to provide a centre where uh, Irish emigrants, both uh, long-standing Irish emigrants and new Irish emigrants, uh, can uh, get together, uh, can meet and develop uh, networks. We're delighted that the Department of Foreign Affairs uh, have come on board and have, are supporting the development and are, are giving a grant towards the development uh, and it's, it's great that we're getting that support because there's a lot of lot of new emigrants coming to London and uh, Ryslip is a big cultural centre really. Um, for anyone who's ever been to the Connacht Championship game in May, it's a, it's a big party atmosphere. People come out from, from not just London but uh, the rest of Britain for, for that day and I suppose the GA helps helps these people, even second generation, third generation Irish, to retain that connection with home. Obviously there's a massive influx of players in the last four or five years, like I'm there four years, but uh, there is a lot of a lot of people who are there, stalwarts that are there 30, 40 years and, and they, they drive on the association there. Uh, but it's, it's going from strength to strength. We have 33 clubs between Hurling and football, a couple of dual clubs. Underage, there's uh, 13 football clubs underage and just four hurling clubs uh, who feel there's a variety of ages from 8 to 18s. It is going from strength to strength. Last year uh, one of our cornerbacks was Philip Butler who was an, who came up through the underage system in London and that's fantastic to see and this year we've three guys out training with the senior panel again who came up through the underage so it obviously shows the strength and, and the good work that's been done by the clubs and uh, as Liam mentioned earlier the, the community development administrators who go in and do the coaching in the schools and the good work that's been done all around by, by the GA there in London. London is one of our, our flagship cities abroad really and the London County Board has been there for a long time, has given great leaders to this organisation. There are two main clubs are called after Sam McGuire and Lena McCarthy who are involved with London GA. London GA now with, and the rest of Britain and indeed in North America, we have the support of the Department of Foreign Affairs. We jointly um, pay full-time development officers to develop juvenile activity. That's a huge difference because when you have juveniles coming up, it means you have a future, you have roots and you have families involved and uh, that's vital to the importance of the future development and we're fully behind that, we're supportive of it and I think that London particularly is going to be a place where Gaelic Games are going to flourish with the help of the new stadium.